Well, good morning from Mount Stewart. Um, after another storm and after more wind blows, we're, we've got trails closed again. Um, so obviously regulars will probably realise already if you've been here this week. We've closed the Ploughman's Loop Trail because of this large wind blow, basically. Um, I mean, it's not just the storm. A, a lot of these new wind blows that we're having on the estate are directly related to Forest Services Thinnings Works. So <clears throat> there's an instable crop, basically. Um, and that means even in kind of quite quite low level wind storms, uh, trees are toppling over. So this is something we need to really think carefully about around our access policies and thresholds around when we do close trails or close the property. Uh, something that's under review at the moment. Um, anyway, so, well, weather's nice at the moment. Ground's still pretty wet. Uh, so we're just working through making this multi wind blow safe. Uh, I've got support of machinery um, in a, on a site like this. Pete and Ricky are here and they're working through individually bit by bit, severing the individual root plates, clearing and breaking up the compression and tension that exists within the trees as they've wound up amongst themselves. This one here in particular um, has managed to get itself between two trees. So you've got a lot of compression and tension both ways. So it makes it very unpredictable about where that limb will go when it's cut, which is why we have the machines here as well to grab and hold these in place while those cuts are being made um, to keep the operators safe. But it's, it's a bit of a difficult one. If this was much bigger, it's arguably a big machine job um, just from a general practice point of view. But it's there's about 30 trees here, um, but most of them are kind of individuals on the edge, which we've already cleared. We must have cleared about 10 or 15 already. And there's probably another 10 or 15 to go through this section and hopefully today we'll actually get the path back open um, and we can work away with the remaining wood uh, as we go. So this will be clear, there's obviously a bit of um, reconstruction of the trail that we just upgraded a couple of weeks ago um, and you know here we go with uh, um, more instability. But uh, these things are here, they happen and we just got to work for them. So um, I hope you're all having a great week. Pet Mose Day this Sunday. Um, my advice would be to dress for the weather we've had, not the weather on the day. Um, just make sure you've got good solid footwear on, um, especially if you're hitting out on the wider trails. The ground is really wet. We've had uh, the wettest winter on record, I think it is. Certainly the, the eighth or ninth month straight, which is has been the warmest on record ever. Um, and this has been in conjunction with constant high level uh, rain events and the ground is wet um, so suitable footwear and you have a great time so have a good week and we'll see you next week